What is going on, everybody? We are back on it. Code Geass, um, episode nine here. We left off last episode kind of with that, like, um, hostage standoff. Princess Euphema. Is that, is that how you say her name? I'm not sure. Uh, but then we had kind of Lelouch kind of announcing his group. Now it's not just him. He's got a little, um, I'm going to call it, I wouldn't even call it an army. <laughs> um, uh, he has a small rebellion that he started that he's calling um the Black Knights. I think there's, what, maybe ten of them max. Um, so I'll be interested to see if that kind of, like, underground Japan resistance force kind of joins sides with him. Um, I mean, we saw it, uh, him announce it to all of Japan, or Area 11, um, that he's looking to... <clears throat> I forgot if he said he's looking to kind of help the poor or the people that are struggling whether that's from Britannians or other Japanese. <clears throat> Excuse me, hold on. <clears throat> so who that brings to his cause? Does he get, like, honorary Britannians that come to his cause? Does he get some Britannians, actually? Because um, he made a little compelling kind of argument there at the end. Um, we'll see what ends up happening with it. So we're, like, 217, and I hope you guys can see where I'm in here. I've skipped through the recap stuff. Um, we're right where the symbol starts up, where it's going to put the episode title, so it's kind of sync. I think it's at like 217, something like that. Um, and yeah, we're pressing play on it right now. Here comes the title, Refrain, so sync that up, boys. Here we go. Oh, it's been weeks since the last thing happened. Damn, what the hell happened to her? Jeez, she's mean. What was that about? It's like she's trying to be mean so she leaves or what? <clears throat> oh wow. Uh oh, here we go. Here we are. She was asleep in class. Yeah. I mean, they're out late performing mass murders. <clears throat> She's going to start connecting the dots. One of them is going to find out. She's in charge. Cornelius' character design is dope. That purple on purple looks great.
Okay, they're dressing this man up as a cat. What? Hotel Jackie. So are they like the Robin Hoods? Serving the weak, serving the weak, taking from the strong. Some, I think she is going to be the one that ends up finding out his identity. Somebody's going to find out, and I wonder if they keep it to themselves, or... That's so bad for her, like, her worst nightmares would end up happening. Well, Robin Hood's, yep. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah, there's still that Japanese resistance group that we don't kind of know. Are they going to remain kind of their own? Or are they going to pick a side? They're not going to pick the Britannia side. This is awkward fight to have. What's up with her? Jesus Christ. And she's Britannian too, isn't she? So what's her big gripe with um What's her big gripe with the Britannia? Oh. Oh, that's her real mom.
The real mom's the servant. Wow. So her mom is the Japanese, her dad is the Britannia. What's is her? I'm guessing her. I don't know if her dad's anybody important other than like a rich family head. Um, and I guess he ended up marrying a true Britannian for his, and then that mom stayed on. That's awkward. She's just out here having this conversation out in public. <clears throat> oh, God. And everybody's just ignoring. Hit him with that shit. Can he do... Oh, man. Yeah, we've seen him do multiple people at once. I wonder what makes him activate it. Like, when you just approach somebody with a question... I mean, yeah, they become honorary, but, like, they still get looked down on.
Oh. She's trying to throw some hands. If she only knew. What does she what does she keep going for in there? People are out here trying to connect the dots. <clears throat> His identity is going to get found out. Boxes of ammo. Isn't that what her mom had? Whatever they had in those containers? What is that? We're just out here mass murdering people. Oh, okay, that'll do it. We just gunning people down. You gotta be careful what you roll into, you never know. What the fuck? Wait, what is this refrain shit that's making people... Oh, it's drugs. That's what the refrain is? Better get on out of there. Well, none of them can help her out on foot. Y'all got another one? You have to make a decision. Oh, God. So what do you do? So what she, her mother had in her drawer was the drugs. What, she ran out of them? It's making her lose her mind? Yeah, I mean, that, of course that's why she stayed. So she could be close to you. Oh, shh. We're not going for, like, the double suicide mission here, are we? Oh, he broke the person out, though. Orcs splattered them? That works. Freak. 
free to travel and use the phone. Damn. What the fuck is she doing here? We still know nothing about her, by the way. Twenty years for what? I mean, it doesn't matter. No, no lawyer is going to come to her side because she's Japanese. But twenty years for what? So why are all these Japanese out here taking drugs and stuff? Then just, just it's no different than what people are taking drugs for these days. Because like all those people in there, they were Japanese, right? So why is it just like affecting them? I gotta go back and see what they said, or if you guys have an explanation for it, go ahead and leave it for me. That ends up being the episode, because I remember they were talking about it, but I was trying to figure out what that had to do with like, what was going on at the moment. So Refrain, um, that's what those people were selling in there, well, not selling, but like manufacturing in that factory it looked like just cases upon cases upon cases of it. Um, you guys will, yeah, will have to explain that. Besides that, that was pretty much kind of, the only thing worth going over this episode was just kind of like that refrain stuff and finding more about Caitlin. It was pretty much a Caitlin focused episode. I'm um, finding more about her background. Um, I was trying to figure out like at the beginning, why was she being so mean to that servant? But then she was like, I just need you to go. Like she said that to herself. So I was making, maybe it's a friend or it's a Japanese, but like she's grown up with her, but it ended up being her mom and she lives in the house with the stepmom and the dad. That shit is actually wild. Um, but yeah, of course, as soon as I found out it was her mom, the reason she became the servant was so she could stay close to her daughter, regardless of what that led her life to be. Um, but sentenced to 20, I'm guessing sentenced to 20 years means 20 years in prison, right? Not sentenced, I don't know, maybe 20 years of labor. I, I don't know what that could be, but I'm guessing 20 years of jail. Um, that is really unfortunate. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all we had this episode. Um, had the good... Uh, um, Cornelia exchange with Yuffie and I still think she is the best character design we've seen um and yeah just I just want to find out more questions about this Gios and where it comes from and is it the only of its kind and I mean I forget the one the two people that were talking in the bar but that girl's been trying to piece this together for a while and she keeps like she keeps getting like a step and a step and a step closer so somebody's gonna find out this man's identity I don't know who it's gonna be and when they do, I wonder what happens with it. Does it, like, as soon as one person finds out, does it just spread? Or does it end up becoming, like, one of the Black Knights, probably Kalen, finds out and they keep it between themselves type thing um, until it can't be contained anymore? Um, yeah, we'll figure out it. We'll go from there. So like, share, favorite, subscribe, Patreon. You guys should see this on um, August 13th. Um, and we'll go from there. So as always...